Hi guys, it's uh, Jason here from cricketstoreonline.com and in uh, today's video what I'm actually going to talk about is um, knocking the bat in. And so the bat that I've selected is a, is a new bat I've just received um, from the boys over at, at Vindico. This is uh, one, of the, uh, one of the 2011 range bats which is the Zulu uh, Warrior Spirit of South Africa and so I thought it was quite a neat gift uh, obviously as, as I'm from South Africa. This bat is a Players Plus bat. Um, so basically, um, they graded it as a Players Plus. Uh, it's a very nice looking bat, as you can see. It's uh, got a very nice face and grain and everything on it. We're looking at about 10 grains on this bat. They're not uh, perfectly straight. They've got a little bit of a wobble to them, but it's not really too bad. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this. You can see the grains quite nicely on the toe there. But a pretty, pretty good looking bat. We're weighing at uh, just under two pounds, eight ounces. And what I've decided to do is to um, do a little series of videos on how to knock in your, knock in your bats. Now a lot of different people have uh, different methods that they use. What I'm going to be using is the James Laver or the Laver and Wood um, method. And so basically if you go over to the Laver and Wood website, you, uh, there's a whole knocking in process there. It's going to tell you exactly how to do it. Now what they say in that, in that piece is that if it's a non-Laver and Wood bat, that you actually oil it three times. And what you need to do is take about a teaspoon of oil um, at a time, so it's going to take three days basically to oil this bat. Place about a teaspoon of oil on the wood, on the face where you're going to be hitting the ball, and you just rub it in with your fingers. Um, if you've got some excess, you can then rub it over the edges on both sides and down on the toe. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to leave it overnight for 24 hours. I'm going to leave the bat laying at this position so that the oil uh, gravity can actually pull the oil down into the wood and the wood can soak it in um, and then tomorrow I'm going to do the same thing and which will be uh, tomorrow will be Sunday you do the same thing and then on Monday I'll do the same thing again and then on Tuesday I can actually start knocking the uh, bat in so let me show you basically how this gets done I've just got some paper towel under here just to keep the bat basically level um, you can use a teaspoon or what I'm going to use is the top of my little uh, oil bottle here and that's all that you need remember you're only looking for about let me put this down somewhere uh, nothing more than that that's all that you need so you're gonna I'm gonna pour this on a little, little bit at a time because it's gonna run okay so I've just put about half of that cap on and I'm gonna rub that in just onto the bat just like that and remember if you've got a laver and wood bat they say you only have to do it once um, if it's the, the labor and wood method uh, suggests that if you don't have a labor and wood bat that you do this three times and so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm just going to go up to the sticker here you obviously can't oil under the stickers um, because of the sticker obviously so that's pretty self-explanatory so I've got a little bit of excess and so I'm going to rub that now this sticker is particularly big on this bat so I might not need the entire teaspoon um, and I'm it's, it's a very light color, so my thought is that this bat is going to be quite thirsty, meaning that it's going to suck up quite a lot of oil. So that's basically it. I've got a pretty thick layer here of oil on the bat, but uh, give it half an hour, an hour, and it'll all be soaked into the wood. So what I'm going to do is just dip, get a little bit more here, pour it on so I, can, I want to go a little bit more on the edges. And this is basically just going to be for the edging of the bat. Um, luckily, there is no sticker on this bat, so I've got pretty much carte blanche to, or sticker on the edges, I mean. So I've got carte blanche to um, oil it up as much as I want, pretty much. So this is that's that's how easy it is to oil your bat up. Um, I'm going to continue doing this. So that's it. That's how easy it is to to oil your bat. Remember, you have to leave your bat. It's a good idea to leave it overnight, but you're looking at six to eight hours. Thanks to uh, Laver and Wood for uh, putting this information up on the website. Check out some of the Laver and Wood bats that I've got there available. And look at the new Vindico bats as well. That's the new Vindico logo. This, I said, is the Zulu, but check out, look out for the, for the Genghis uh, and the Geronimo, which is their two 2012 range bats. Alright guys, so uh, this is Jason signing out on uh, the first video of how to oil your new cricket bat. Um, look back in a few days 
<clears throat> and I will have a video of uh, this bat actually uh, the oiling process is finished and I'll start the process of uh, knocking in your bat. And knocking in your cricket bat can take anything from uh, two or three days up to a week or two just depending on how much time you can put into it. So look forward to seeing you guys. I'm going to put out some more videos for you. I hope you enjoy it and uh, keep watching. Cheers. Bye.